the farewell. So I like the farewell. It's pretty good. Um, and let's get into my likes and dislikes. So it does a great job of character exposition for, you know, the few select characters that it chooses to focus on. Uh, Aquafina, her family, some of her uncles and aunts. So it does a pretty good job and you kind of understand them as the movie goes on, which I think is a pretty important for a movie like this. Uh, the movie also addresses key elements of Asian American culture that are in fact true if any non-Asians who are watching this were wondering. Uh, Aquafina personally, in my opinion, does a very good job acting. She's definitely the star of the show. She plays both sad and comedic roles throughout. And overall, it's a unique storyline for a plot. And I think not many movies, you know, not many US big budget, not big budget, but you know, box office movies uh, would try to do this kind of thing without fear of backlash. So I, I, um, I definitely amend I definitely commend the farewell and the producers and the directors for uh, going with this you know, this plot. As far as dislikes go, uh, I think pacing was a bit off. The main issue of the film was revealed pretty early on, and everything after that kind of felt like a drag. I think that if they waited a bit to you know focus in on the main issue, it would have been uh, a bit more interesting. Um, some scenes felt like they were just in the movie for no purpose. I I really can't figure out why certain scenes were in this movie at all. And uh, last thing I want to say is that with a $3 million budget, this movie accomplished quite a lot and it wasn't overly long, even though I know I said, you know, pacing was an issue. Uh, it didn't feel overly long. It's only an hour and a half. So yeah, The Farewell is pretty good. Aquafine is good, um, but there are some pacing issues. And, you know, with a, with a $3 million budget, you can only expect so much. So this movie is a six and a half out of 10.